All right, guys, so check it out. Today, you're going to follow along with me. We're going to do a deadlift session. So today, it's conventional deadlift. I'm going to work my way up to a heavy set of three. Then I'm going to back off and do an AMRAP set, as many reps as possible, bringing the weight down by about 10% and then trying to get as many reps as we can with that weight. All right, after that, we're gonna do some accessories, some supplemental work, get the lower body and the posterior chain, and follow along, let's do this. We're gonna go up plate, 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 until we get to about three plates each side. Then I'm gonna go plate, quarter, plate, quarter, all the way up until we get to about a heavy triple. Once I get to that heavy triple, right, that's an RPE 10. I'm gonna back that off about 10 to maybe 15% and then get an AMRAP with that, so as many reps as I possibly can with that particular weight. I haven't conventional deadlift in a while, so let's see how this goes. with the deadlift is you want to make sure that you keep your back tight. So I'm going to lock in my lats basically. When I cue athletes I say crush your armpits, right? So crushing your armpits, getting that chest upright, not rounded forward, making sure you're maintaining posture as you pull off the ground. You're getting some leg drive at the bottom. As you come up past the knees, you drive the hips through, squeeze the glutes, and lock the deadlift out. Alright guys, so based off of the AMRAP, what started to fail out on me primarily was, uh, was leg drive and then my upper back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. I'm going to use what I did there from a weakness standpoint, from a breaking down standpoint, and I'll put it into my accessory exercises. So now I'm going to go split stance. So I'm going to hit the quad, I'm going to go VMO. So I'm going to drive the knee over the toe in a split stance position. I'm going to do three sets of eight there. Then we'll do some bent over rows. We're gonna go high pull to hit the T-spine. So we're hitting the upper back. One, I wanna help engage my back, my upper back, my lats, my traps, and then also making sure I'm maintaining posture. From there, I'll go ahead, hit the hamstrings with the GHR, then finish off with kettlebell carries in the front rack position. One for upper back strength, and then two for core strength and some conditioning. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're doing a version, slight different version of a pen lay row. I'm going into a snatch grip position so the hands are wider. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull to the sternum with the elbows flared out. So we hit the upper back, right? And then also we're letting the weight settle as you come down. So we place the barbell on the ground for about a second and then drive up again, maintaining that posture. Neutral spine here, neutral spine in the position. And then you're pulling here and dropping it back down. You don't want to heave it up, right? And you also don't want to overly flare the elbows. You're just going to keep it right here in the position.
All right, so we're gonna finish off with a carry exercise. I'm gonna take two kettlebells, put it in the front rack position, and do cross connect marches. So I'm just gonna stay in place. I'm gonna rotate slightly, activate the obliques, stabilizing my, my body, stabilizing the down leg with the glute and the adductor, and continuously moving for 60 seconds through. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so there you have it. Full deadlift workout. I wanted to get back into conventional deadlift. So it's been a while, and again, I'm working my way back up. So heavy set of triples, and then backed off to an AMRAP set to get the volume of work done. Switched off into accessory exercises for the upper back, the hamstrings, and some type of carry variation for the core and upper back because we found that that was more of a weak point for me based off of the AMRAP set. So that's a bit of a tester, and then I can find out what's the weak links exploit the weak links and then work on getting that stronger. Uh, something that I'm gonna do once or twice a week and I really wanna start building that back up now that I feel uh, healthy and ready to go. All right, so if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. Hit the like button if you like this style of video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And if you have, make sure you hit the notification so you know when my videos come out, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again next time, peace.